Good day and welcome to the Bracon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Bracon Technical Consultant. Today I'll be looking at part two of my Sumo, Sumo demo series where I just demonstrate the basic workflow of working in Bracon Sumo. Okay, so in the last video we imported a DWG file from we imported a DWG file and we also imported materials and sections. So here in this in the model space, you can see I have my PWG lines that I imported. It's just like a simple grid. And then I also have my materials, um, the steel and concrete that I imported here, as well as my sections that I imported. And I also went and I renamed them. And so in this video, I'm just going to start with creating a basic model, how to copy columns and so on, just so you can get the basic idea. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start adding columns to this model. So here at the top left of the screen, you can see there's a columns button. And as I hover over it, it tells me insert the column in a top view. So you can either insert it into a top view. If I click on this, you can see I can, it just shows me like an outline representation of my column. Or I can just do it in my symmetric view. That's the what I'm in right now. Okay, so let's go to top view. To do that, under the view panel, you'll see there's a top view button. As I hover over it, it tells me switch to, to a top view. And I'm just going to click on that. And then you can see I'm viewing my model from the top now. And if I zoom in, I want to add my column to this grid intersection over here. You can see as I zoom in and I hover over it, it the cursor changes. So the cursor changes when you snap to something. So I'm just placing it there. And then uh, it also allows me to select a rotation and after I've placed my column I can just press escape on my keyboard. Okay so I'll just rotate my model and there you can see there's my column. I can also select this column again I can go to properties and make changes to it. I can for example change the height to let's say four meters. I can change the section start, the start fixity, end fixity, all of that. You can go and change. I just want to also point out that Sumo does all the node numbering for you in the background. So if I switch to my discretized model here at the top and I zoom in, you can see that it automatically did my node numbering. And if I change my height back to three meters, you can see that it updates the node numbering again. Okay, so I can now copy these columns. Let's say I want one column at each of these grid intersections. I can either go and go to column and place one, or I can just select my column and then click on the array copy command and I can just copy it in an array to all of my grid intersections. Okay, and once I've did that, you can see all of my columns are there. And if I once again go back to the discretized model view, you can see all the node numbering once again has been done in the background. Okay, so after I've placed my columns and I'm happy with that, I can just go and create a slab. So I'm going to go to insert slabs and then I'm using, I'm literally just drawing in, you can see it's like very CAD based, so um, you can switch between values by using the tab button, or you can just draw it in um, by using the, the grid lines that you brought in with the DWG import. So I'm just drawing it in, and if I rotate once again, you can see there's my slab, and I can select the outline. And once again, in properties, you can go and change the properties. Let's say I want a slab depth of 255 millimeters. And as I change it, you can see how it changes on the screen. Let me just change back and then change again. Okay, so there's my slab and I can change the elevation as well. So I can go to properties, elevation and change it to three meters. And you can see that it just changes the slab elevation. Okay, you can also copy this. I can, let's say, I can just select all of this. I want multiple levels of this lab. I can just copy it, or I can go back and make changes. So let's let's copy it first. So let's say, select this, use the modify linear copy, and then just copy this upwards. Let's say I want three copies, and I type in three, and then there you have uh, a simple little model in Sumo. For the next video, we are going to create levels. In Sumo, you can work on a level view. And we're also going to create like a steel structure here at the top and add some loading maybe and so on. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. 
Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.